Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to re be recreating one of my first projects, which was a backpack holder for one of my sisters. Um, I'm going to try to make it as close as possible, but try to make it mod more modern and a little bit more good looking. So a little bit things are going to change, like the width of the wood, what I'm finishing it with, but the overall design of it won't change. And then, yeah, I'll show you comparison pictures. So, stay tuned. Okay, so here I am measuring the board to 7 inches, which is going to be the width of it. And I'm just going to wear it off. Here I am cutting it at the miter saw. One thing I will note is that um, the first one I used pine or white wood, I can't 100% remember, but this is uh, red oak. Here I am trying to find the center of the board so that I can drill a hole for the dowel. This is a 1x6 board. So the dimensions would have been three and a half by two and three quarters to get the dimensions. I just uh, used a screw to replace an awl there. Um, I don't know if you can 100% see it, but I am cutting the dowel just by eyeball here, no measuring on um, how long it's going to be for the backpack. I just saw here. Uh, I took it over to the belt sander so I could get a flat edge on it. That way the backpack don't slide around too much. So that way it has a flat edge reference to just sit on. Here I am sanding off the pencil lines, also taking off some of that top fur off the wood. So, um, I'm gonna route this. I used the Roman OG, OG, um, I don't know, but it's kind of like a round over only fancier. Um, mind you that I am a very big noob when it comes to routing. This is my very first router and the second project I've ever used a router on. So, um, mind the burn marks and the occasional, um, hair out. Um, I would say I did pretty good for my second time ever using a router. Um, I will say that my piece looks a lot better using that router. Whether or not I did a perfect job or not, it, it does look better in my eyes. So instead of putting a darker finish on it, I decided I would burn it. Um, like the routing, this is... Um, one of the first times I've ever burned a project to uh, finish it so um, mind the occasional dark patch there's one really noticeable one that I 100% saw as soon as I did um, I probably should have used some pliers to hold the piece of wood up because it was really hot and hard to hold as you can see I'm trying not to put my thumb on the flat surface up there because it was super duper hot um, so you could see where that dark spot was, um, just above that hole there, in the top left hand corner there. Um, otherwise I, I would say I did pretty good there. 
Um, definitely I'm going to try that on another project because I really like the way that turned out. So I'm going to be using some Howard uh, beeswax to give it a little glow. Um, I really like the look of this. I like the smell of it. Um, this is also known as orange oil. It smells like a citrus fruit. It smells really good and it looks really good on wood. One thing that is worth mentioning is that I probably should have sanded off um, before I started putting the beeswax on because um, if you look carefully a lot of that charred wood rubs right off onto the paper towel and I, that could have been completely avoided if I had just done a little light sanding before I applied the beeswax. In the end, the piece looks pretty good. So off camera, I sanded and burnt um, the dowel to make it match the piece itself. Um, you can kind of see a pre-fit. Um, I originally wanted to go um, up and down vertically, but then I decided I was going to make the piece horizontal because I thought that looked better. You'll see that here in a minute. So I'm just gonna glue this dowel in. I'm using tight bond too. Just making sure that dowel is square. And I'm not really concerned about using clamps um, because I really don't trust, I really trust that it's not gonna uh, fall out. But um, if it ever does, it'll be okay because I can just glue it back in or make another dowel piece to fit in it. So um, my last one had a really cheesy K on it, so this one's going to have a really cheesy K on it. Um, some may say that it ruins the piece, I, was, I would say that it finishes it. I do not have a paintbrush capable of uh, making letters that small, so uh, Craig Outdoor 2.5 inch screw is going to have to work. There it is. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.